Alrighty, alrighty. Well, we're at the part of the stream where we're going to watch a little bit more information coming soon for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a new, new update coming on in. It looks like someone posted a video about something big about shiny hunting changing forever, they said. News and leaks to update. So let's take a look at that, guys. Let's watch it together. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. What we're doing. We got more leaks for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Let's take a look. All right, so in a continuation from yesterday's thread from Centro and the leaks coming from Kaka and Riddler Koo, we actually have some new information, which I thought was pretty crucial and deserving of its own video. I do want to mention that yesterday when I was talking about the map and kind of how the gyms were broken out, I mentioned the Fairy Gym. I believe it's actually a Psychic Gym. Some of you guys pointed that out. But we talked we watched their, about uh, we watched their the map the analysis video the other day. The so it's, this is the same creator that we watched levels. on uh, Friday. And depending on which order you do them, you may end up in a situation Hi, Dust Phoenix. Like kind of quiet. All right, all right. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Thank you for letting me know. Let's see here. Let's go over here. Bump the volume up. Let's try 20, 25. Try that. How's that sounding? And that gym is level 20 and your team is like level 45 or 50, which is that better? I've kind of expressed my sadness about, but at the same time, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. So we'll wait and see how that all plays out. But there's some really interesting kind of pieces to this that we're going to touch on today that kind of give a little bit more insight as to how this is going to play out. So they go on to say that wild Pokemon can ambush the player and surprise attack them from behind to force a battle so we've seen this kind of happen in the Hi, past Ronk. where like you'll walk into a cave and you'll get ambushed going back to pokemon x and y in the kalos region it seems as though that's going to be a big focus point of some of the encounters that you'll have in this game you can't exactly access any gym from the start as some of them may require certain karaiden and maraiden riding skills to access but they do actually go on to say that there's an alternate way to the final psychic gym earlier without Koraiden and Maraiden's last riding ability, but you'll get ambushed by a level 50-something Pokemon in your path, so it's not that simple. And that seems to be kind of how this game is going to function. You're going to have pretty much free access to go anywhere you want. You could go to the 8th gym if you wanted. You could go to the 5th gym, right at the gates, whatever it is. But not necessarily so you can go to gym any gym in any you, order, it sounds like. There's going to be wild Pokemon and other Pokemon that are going to stop you from In any to order, that. it sounds Simply like you can do the gyms. because you're not going to have a strong enough team to be able to beat them. Now, will people find a way with, like, Fear Rattata level 1, you know, Endeavor strats? Maybe. Will there be an opportunity to utilize something like a Shininja that can kind of cheese your way through some stuff? Or, like, counter sturdy strategies or whatever. Like, will there be ways to do it? I'm sure there will, right? Like, and I think that that'll be, like, a cool thing to see is, like, I beat the 8th gym with all level 10 Pokemon, right? Maybe there's a way to do it. That'll be fun for challenges. But they go on to say that the, uh, you know, that some, you know, you'll get ambushed by those level 50 Pokemon. They go on to say that there aren't any artificial blocks anywhere in the game. No trainer's going to block your path. That means you can go straight to challenge the Pokemon League with zero badges. And that is crazy. They Wait, go on to say what? that the League in this game is a series of tests. It's not like the standard Pokemon League. Worry about oh, so theft of your mail and packages. It's only going to be tests. Okay. So the Elite Four is not going to actually be that, however, like you'll actually battling. It's going to be tests. If you don't have any of the badges, and what? then if you fail the test, you'll be kicked out of the league stadium. So if you don't have all the badges, you can't pass one of the tests anyway. So you can just go to the Pokemon League, but if you do that, they're going to stop you at some point. But there's no trainers that are just like. Oh, we need a medicine for these side ducks that have a headache that have just been blocking the road. Or, oh, we're filming on this super crucial route with our camera crew and our Loudred Magnemite, and you can't go by. Or whatever the yeah, this one's for Scarlet and Violet sweaty gamer games. Routes in the game to force you to go a certain way. You can That's challenge. So far, it looks the like case, they've leaked. You can challenge any gym in any order. Say, you can go anywhere. You can access the league. You'll get kicked out. There aren't really any blocks to access anything in Sounds Paldia, like the Elite Four is going to be more test related Pokemon stuff. That will ambush the player very frequently. And, and then Pokemon are going to ambush and you those too. Those Pokemon are Tauros, which we know Tauros has different regional forms, so we'll see multiple versions of Tauros. 
The Mankey line, which has a new evolution. Yeah, they're changing up the game a lot, it sounds. Cloth, which is obviously the rock uh, crab Pokemon we saw. Oh, guys, the new dog they, Pokemon, it looks like it's confirmed. Been, uh, the, the big crab is going to be a rock type. Pokemon and the grass Very Pokemon. interesting. Apparently, according I know to a lot of you guys were guessing that the other day when we Pokemon saw that leak. Are going to be very aggressive. They're going to be all over your face. They're going to jump all over you. They're going to stop you as you're trying to get to harder areas. And that's what's going to ultimately make it challenging to advance because... You're only going to have so many potions or healing items. Your team's only going to be a certain level, and you're just going to get bombarded by these Tauros and these Mankeys. And they even go on to Puros, say you're going to end up Cloth. hating these Pokemon. One of the, the new the dog Pokemon. I wonder what type the new dog Pokemon's are going to be. Too annoying to be Chili perfect, Pepper honest. Pokemon and a Grasshopper Pokemon. I'm doing Pokemon. a Nintendo Switch giveaway, and I'm giving away five Ooh. prototype starter decks. As They're giving well out as a, holographic a Nintendo Switch? A station card for my new game. Alestrals, which is dropping on Kickstarter in November. You guys Damn. can enter for free using the Gleam link in the description below, and I'd ask you check out my project. If anybody wants to go enter their really giveaway, really there's a link in chat right here to their video. In our card game development and beyond video game development, everything that we're doing early. So go follow us on social media. It's free to enter. You have a chance to win a Switch. Looks like you just got to follow them awesome on social project. media, so thank you to everyone which I'm already doing. Only a few so days left to enter this. And again, it's completely free to enter. Just make Hell sure you yeah. guys use my Gleam link. Don't fall for any of those Telegram scams that people keep doing. We've got some other information. There is going to be a crane Pokemon, which we kind of knew about. Apparently, that's dark going to be flying dark type and crane. flying type. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, dark and flying. I, I, we've seen that typing before. It's obviously You're excited for the Tauros, like, Andy? The Veltal, I wonder what, what like special that. typing so the Tauros take, regional form will be. I'll take a dark and flying be. crane Pokemon. Why not? It also mentions here that if you run from a wild Pokemon, it will stay in the overworld. And apparently, from the leakers... That also means that you will not be able to fail shiny Pokemon. So if you run into a shiny Pokemon, you run away from that shiny Pokemon, it's going to still be there in the overworld, which has some massive implications Ooh. for shiny hunting. Obviously, it has some massive implications for reducing the number of failed shiny Pokemon that people are going to have. Yo, I, so this is a point that I think is really big, right? Like, and that's I like huge, because that. like you could that. probably like, spam Quick I Balls. If I Pokemon and then I run away, it should Quick still Balls be are probably going to be mean, huge it, in this. Know, but that also may mean that the shiny hunting mechanics are different. Like I said, very different. So worth noting, worth mentioning. Let me know your thoughts if on you that. If you run into a wild Pokemon, it will stay in the overworld hunting, if you run away. Before, really. Then so get some information that the, the you Path could of Legends battle, story, you could the different titans, like run into it, quick ball, rock, run away, flying, then try steel, to challenge dragon, it again. Ground, no board fails, shinies, right, Xe? Again, you can do that's them in awesome. Any order, but they have like fixed levels. That's gonna make shiny hunting so a lot easier too, huh? Couple other bits like catching shinies wise. Here. The Riddler posted these different little treats. Uh, looks like fried dough to me. Apparently, fried dough. according to Amashinu, like this is a mahua, which is a type of donut. It's a fried dough twist in a Chinese dough. I know, guys. Remember, remember that oil. I ran this out of balls against the shiny Lopini in Legends dog, of Arceus. Uh, what is it called? Fido. <laughs> it's not Fido. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Those were the Little days. Dog Pokemon. Oh, it is actually called Fido. Uh, I hope the. Let's not even talk about Fido, the shiny Joltik. <laughs> <laughs> which would be really cool. Uh, I think this is just a hint towards that, so we'll have to wait and see if that ends up being it. But we know it's going to be fairy type. Couple so other a, bits of information. So uh, Fido's going to be fairy Stone type for sure. He do says. Do not use the switch time, but have their own time, like Legends, so you can explore a day or night at will. Legends Arceus, you could easily flip the clock, which was really nice. It seems oh. like that's going to be the case in Scarlet and Flipping Violet the clock. Well. We knew that so there was going to be you're this, not like, you're Pokemon no longer restricted to your it IRL so time. You can wash your Pokemon. If you want it to be nighttime, you can flip the clock. It sounds like right away. Their HP. There's probably going to be some sort of like little gimmicky system where in game if your Pokemon loves you, you say that, but evil still going to knock them out. <laughs> that is so true. It doesn't eliminate that factor. And just some other last bits of information regarding the franchise. Shiny Eternatus is confirmed. U.S. and Canada, EB Games, a GameStop, uh, EB Games for Australia, New Zealand, September 18th to October 1st. So if you want to grab yourself a shiny turn of this, you just got to go to a GameStop in the U.S. and Canada, EB Games in Australia. There's some other locations like Singapore and stuff that came up. You can just Google it. Um, but basically, you just have to go in and they'll give you the code for it. Uh, you don't have to buy anything, so don't get tricked into buying or pre-ordering anything. You just got to show up. So that's it. You can grab your shiny turn of this that way. And then Dodrio just got added as a playable character to Pokemon Unite. This thing zooms around the map. It's a scoring machine. Ooh, Dodrio. Very, very cool. Kind of weaves in and out of battle. I just played a game with it before we're filming this. I think it's actually a really cool welcome addition. I'm still going to use... I've only played like three games since the new map dropped. I'm I think still the going to way for this switch has already ended. Oh, oh yeah. You're, I, I think you're right, actually. But Dodrio Thank you, video games. And Scissor coming at the end of the month is something that I'm very excited for. I definitely want to play Scissor in Pokemon Unite. Probably like That's 3 a.m. my time, video games. 
so I can get some time in with Scissor, that's for sure. So obviously that change to Shiny Pokemon is pretty big, and we got yeah, some it's gonna change Shiny Hunting for real. And these Pokemon Quick balls are gonna be huge. You and any opportunity they have. And then the ambushing. Don't forget to check out my game, Alestro's launching on Kickstarter in November. You guys can enter the giveaway for free to win a Switch, prototype starter decks, which are no longer for sale, and a prototype holographic Mustation card, which is super sick. So thank you guys for checking that out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll Perfect. see you guys on the next one. Let's Peace. go. Let's go. Well, thank you guys for watching that with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It looks like big, big changes coming for the shiny hunting and then also being ambushed too, it sounds like, from what they went over. And then a lot of uh, regional form Pokemon as well. Looks like a lot of people are excited for the, the Taurus regional form. I wonder what typing is going to be. And the crane Pokemon looks interesting too, the flying dark type. I wonder how strong that's going to be. If you guys aren't following me already, here's a link in chat for my uh, YouTube. I'll be posting some of this stuff on YouTube regularly. If any of you guys want to rewatch it or miss out, I'll be doing little segments like this on the daily. So if any of you guys miss out on that, there's some links right there in chat. You can come and rewatch it. You can rewatch all the stuff we watched last week.